This was probably the most impressive slide on any of the day one reviews for the RTX 4090. It seems to be showing the RTX 4090 living up to the absolutely incredible claim of four times the performance of an RTX 3090 Ti, and also seems to be showing that 4K ray tracing ultra preset in Cyberpunk 2077 with DLSS off, this is native performance, with the 1% lows even well above 60 FPS, this just seems like such a mind-blowing slide that it can't possibly be correct. And it isn't. It's wrong. It's totally wrong. And this is not some big conspiracy. And that I want to comment on that, because first of all, um, LTT was notified that this they made this mistake and they have verified it and corrected it. So let's jump into that for a second. So they've pinned a comment uh, saying, correction, we're working on an updated video, but in the meantime, our numbers for Cyberpunk 2077 were with Fidelity FX upscaling enabled. We specifically didn't have this enabled, but stability issues with the bench seem to have messed with the settings. We've rerun all the, the numbers for each card. So for example, if you jump on over now to the um, RT plus DLSS and numbers here, maybe you can zoom in on this and make it uh, easier for you to see. Uh, we're now seeing the RTX 4090 results. I'm sorry, we, this, was, this was the slide with no DLSS. So ray tracing on no DLSS, the 1% lows were actually 36, the 5% lows were actually 39, and the average FPS was actually 44. So we're seeing the dream is dead. <laughs> we can't act, we're not getting the four times performance. It's not real. Now, I need to respond to some of the comments I've seen on articles and Reddit threads and comments in this video even, and on all of that, saying that this is some sort of like uh, LTT are paid NVIDIA shills, just making up numbers. And I've got to admit, not that that's true. I'll show you why it's not true. But, I, but do you see the problem here? This LTT, the you know, huge, huge review site, right? Published their day one review. A lot of people are gonna watch this one and this one only, especially the more casual audience, the people who don't watch all of the PC hardware channels. And they're gonna see this and just mind blown. It's amazing. And they're probably not ever gonna see this pinned comment correction, right? So this is a big problem, but it's not LTT's fault. Notice that what, uh, I think it's Anthony doing this post here, uh, claims is that it's stability issues with the bench. It's, it's really more of like a bug in the menus of Cyberpunk. And I benchmark this game all the time. So I've, I've run into this issue all the time. Now I catch it and I've learned how to work around it. And I think the best way to explain this is actually, let's just go with my RTX 3080 right now, hop into Cyberpunk, and I'm gonna show you what's going on here. So here's the problem. So notice that I'm, I can switch between the graphics settings here. And I can go over to Ultra, for example, and you know, it seems like all the settings are adjusted, they're over at Ultra, and we can even go ahead and run the benchmark. All right, so it seems like my RTX 3080 is now just absolutely crushing Cyberpunk at 4K. We are up in the 80s, the 90s, all of that. But the problem is, the game isn't actually at the ultra settings. What's going on here? Well, well, the settings that we chose didn't actually apply. And you know, I benchmark this game all the time for my review videos. Some people complain that I, I benchmark Cyberpunk too much. Um, nobody really plays it. Well, I mean, actually look at the Steam numbers, especially since the Edge Dancer uh, anime came out. There, it, it, wait, did I say Edge Dancer? Uh, Edge, Edge, Edge Runner, there we go. Edge Lords. I don't know what it's called, man. <laughs> I watched it, it was good. <laughs> the point is that the, um, uh, you know, people actually do play this game. Plus it's one of the most demanding games out there and it features, you know, upscaling technologies with DLSS as ray tracing. So I like to benchmark this, but notice that this says that I just ran this game at 4K ultra settings and that um, DLSS, wait, DLSS enabled? What? We had DLSS turned off. What is going on here? 
And what, were we really even at the ultra settings? Okay, let's go back to the menu and find out what happened. All right, so if we hop back in here, once again, notice it, it still says DLSS is off, so some, something weird is happening here, guys. And also this still said the ultra settings. But watch this, so as I adjust these, I want you guys to notice something. Okay, the settings seem to change, but there's no apply button down here. Now watch what happens if I, for example, change the DLSS setting. Now there's an actually an apply button, and then I can go back, turn DLSS back off, hit apply, right? So that hit actually gives us the apply button, which is interesting. Also, if you click the ray tracing button uh, to open up the ray tracing menu, it also gives you the apply button. So certain things here uh, give you an apply button and some things don't. So once again, scrolling around on these settings don't seem to do it. Changing things like DLSS does do it. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. So now uh, it says custom settings here just because I, I kicked DLSS on and off again. Let's run the benchmark though. And I think we're gonna see the actual performance at 4K Ultra. And we're gonna see a very different story than what we did last time. So we are now running the benchmark and we are getting 40 FPS. We're going to dip down into the 30s at times as we pass this bar. It's almost like I've run this benchmark a lot. I know where the difficult parts are. The point is, guys, what I'm trying to say here is um, a lot of people, and people have commented on some of my videos where I benchmark this game, and they try to see that, say that my performance numbers are actually wrong in Cyberpunk because it's not what they get on their GPU. And I don't always have time to reply to these comments, but I, what's going on is I actually know how to apply the settings correctly despite the menus... I don't know if bugged is the right word. They seem kind of bugged to me. They, they certainly do not behave in an intuitive manner. Uh, so uh, we'll, 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 go, we'll go with that. And the point is, it is very easy to think you are running settings that you aren't actually running. And that is unfortunate. And it leads to problems like what we saw in the Linus Tech Tips video. And well, here we go. It now says custom settings. Notice that the DLSS is now clearly actually off. And um, even though it says custom here, what we're actually at is the ultra preset. We see the actual performance at those numbers. And there you have it. So as you guys can see, this is an incredibly easy mistake to make and it does seem like an honest mistake. When I first started benchmarking Cyberpunk on all my GPUs, I was getting weird numbers and I had to play around for a long time to figure out all the quirks of using that benchmark menu and how to avoid them, work around it. Like I said, toggling certain settings allow you to apply settings, and then it does seem to actually apply everything that you have selected. So my go-to in that is to, uh, you know, apply the settings that I want, then toggle DLSS on and off again, which gives me the, uh, uh, well, toggle it on, apply, toggle it off, apply, unless I want it on, right? You get the idea. But the point is, uh, you kind of have to work with that with that menu. So I think all the people saying that there's some big nefarious uh, conspiracy here to get this giant benchmark looking so impressive on the day one review, and then just, oh, look, we made a mistake, and, you know, uh, the damage is already done. Uh, guys, don't, don't look for a conspiracy when an honest mistake uh, that's easy to make in a bugged game <laughs> uh, is a more likely explanation for the situation. So hopefully this video, you know, clarifies that this really is just a very easy to make honest mistake with the game just not running the settings that you think you have it set to. And again, I wasn't there when they did it, so I don't know exactly what buttons they pressed and whatnot, but uh, like I said, very easy mistake to make, and I hope all of you have an excellent day.